Hi guys, John Taking here and today we had a video request. Uh, this came from one of our subscribers. Uh, he's asking if I could do a tutorial regarding the DLSS um, enabler on the Windows mode. So as you may know, I had a video about the DLSS on the Basite OS. So this one is we're going to do a uh, quick guide how you can enable the DLSS on a certain game. For example here on uh, Horizon Forbidden West. If you check the uh, setup settings, you can see the DLSS frame generation is uh, grayed out. So here, I will show you how you can uh, enable it so that you can have a uh, high uh, frame rates and also a smooth graphics. First, you need to go to your browser and check this link. I'll post this on the description. Uh, this is from the nexusmod.com. So you need to register first an account so that you can enable the download. Uh, files. So once you're here, just do the manual download. There. Click download. Go download. And um, let's put it on our downloads uh, folder here. There. So while downloading, uh, you may want to create a folder. So you very quick here on my game files. Uh, let's put it on games here. Create a new folder. Let's just name it uh, DLS as uh, enabler. There. Okay, once it's done, just click here. Then click on more info. Then run anyway. Accept. Then next. Next. So here in the browser, make sure you... Uh, choose the folder that you created before. So mine is on games, DLSS enabler. So here, make sure you choose the enable support for AMD since we're using the Legion Go. Then click next and install. Untick this one, then finish. So let's go to our folder here. So as you can see, uh, we have a lot of files here. What we're going to do is we click everything, copy, then let's go to our Horizon Forbidden West folder, uh, shortcut here on your desktop, right click then properties, then open file location, then paste it here, replace uh, everything, so there. Once you copied all files, uh, scroll down and look for the ng or here, nvngx underscore dlss. Make a copy of this, and what I do is I put it on my desktop here, here. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this one, and we will search for the underscore nvngx here. So you can just click this once. Then drag the name here, copy, and replace this one with that underscore NVN GX there. So you rename it, you can copy this one, then you can paste it here. Make sure you replace it, and yes. Okay, so once you've done this, uh, you will see this uh, disable NVIDIA signature checks. Just double click on that, yes, then yes and okay once it's done you can close this folder and you can run the horizon for Vidden west yes if you may know it will uh, prompt you this um, no install graphics just ignore that just click ok also this click ok so now when you go to the settings you can see the dlss frame generation and toggle it now so we could try the game uh, let's just set it on default first Graphics is slow, then our resolution is 800p, FSR 2.2, quality, okay, start. Okay, as you can see here, we're having a 3840 uh, FPS. There, 
sometimes it drops down to 20s. Five, one, now let's try to enable the DLSS. Settings, display. Uh, change upscale method. DLSS. Then frame generation on. Click apply. As you can see, we have a great boost of FPS now. It's reaching out around 60 plus. Sometimes it drops down to 50. So this town is really, uh, really uh, laggy. But if you look closely here on my uh, Legion Go screen, see how smooth movements are. There's a few minor dips here and there, but yeah, it's tolerable. Like before, we're really having a uh, 20 FPS. So yeah, this is a big improvement on your games. So there you have it. You can use this method on any games that has a uh, DLS uh, functionality. Just do the same procedure. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. And again, please like and subscribe. See you to the next video, guys. Bye.